In this video, we're going to look at uh, open sentences involving absolute values. And so when we approach these problems, we need to look at two different cases. Our case one is if the stuff inside of our absolute value symbols is positive. So I'm going to say that the inside is positive, which would look like 3x plus 4 is less than 8. The second case that we want to look at is if the inside was negative, because we remember that uh, the absolute value is just the distance to zero, so whatever's inside will always be positive, um, but it could, when you plug it in, it's, it could be negative. So um, the case two then is that the inside is negative. And so what that would look like is negative three x plus four is less than eight. And uh, one thing that my high school math teacher taught me, uh, an easy way to remember whether this is an and statement or an or statement, is by looking at the inequality. And so if it's a great or, then it's an or statement. If it's less than, or less than or equal to, it's an and statement. Okay. Oops, less than, there we go. And so it's an and statement. So when we look here, this is a less than, so it's an and statement, which when we go to graph it and look at the solutions is where that'll make a difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, solve case one. So we need to isolate our variable term as we subtract four from both sides. We get that three X is less than four. Divide both sides by three. We get that X is less than four thirds. All right, now let's look at case two. So we distribute our negative and we get a negative three X minus four is less than eight. Add four to both sides. Negative three X is less than 12. Divide both sides by negative three. When you multiply or divide by a negative, your inequality symbol needs to flip. And so we get x is greater than negative 4. So now we have x is less than 4 thirds and x is greater than 4 thirds. And so now as we evaluate this idea of and, we're looking for their overlap. So when we go to graph this, let's draw a number line. Um, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 out this way. Let's go negative 4. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, so let's graph um, the x is less than four thirds. So we go out to four thirds, which is one and one third. We're gonna have an open circle because um, it is not, does not include the point because it's just a less than. If it was a less than or equal to, um, then it would be filled in. All right, and we see that we have x is less than four thirds. So we have our graph going this way. Okay, let's look at x is greater than negative 4. Again, we have an open circle on negative 4. Let's get green. Negative 4. And we have all numbers that are greater, so it's going to go this way. So our concern then is where do they overlap? And so we look here, and so negative 4 is not included. Uh, 1 and 1 third is not included. But there's an overlap of all of this stuff here in the middle. So then as we look at our graph, our graph is really just between negative four and one and one third. So if we wanted to write that in a set builder notation, we say it's the set of all x such that, and we pretty much make a sandwich, negative four is less than x, which is less than four thirds. So it's everything that's between negative four and four thirds. It doesn't include negative four and it doesn't include four thirds. That's why we have the open circles and that's why we just have a less than here and just a less than, just a less than here and just a less than here. 